Hello, welcome back to No One Plays Mongoria here in EU4. And we are just still waiting for the war versus Xi, but that will be very, very shortly. I will attack here November, December, January. We should be able to attack. But where is our mil is our technology really that bad? 10, 15, 16. 16, 16, 14, 16, 17, 17, 16. It's not that bad. Our military tech at least is keeping up. Admin tech is for a horde probably nearly impossible to really stay on tech with. Unless you really just keep on giving back land. But who wants to do that? Shun. Where are you allied to? You, I don't want to call them in. What are you? Nobody else, okay. You can be a co belligerent then. Enter the hole. Oh, 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 open fields. My speciality. And that was fairly painful there. We won. But at what cost? hold on here. Either way, I'll certainly need more units. Right. Fuck. I don't think that would be this decisive. a shit ton of units. We can come back from this.
Kill him. Kill him. Surround him and kill him. them all sixteen thousand just up there oh boy that'll be very entertaining by the way we do have to show superiority on our side despite losing two battles so I can't complain too much we can always complain a little bit Because reinforcement is free. Everything squaring up too many units is usually a bad idea. And you can save quite a bit of money by just. They don't keep their units together like they should. Or do we have some rebels? There. No, well, that won't affect the war too much. Manpower. Who needs manpower, anyways? Truly would need manpower would just go into freaking mercenaries. Because of course we are rich. It's not even a question about it. Yes, one of them can just attack straight into here, the other one cannot.
<laughs> Good rebels. They may not take out the enemy. But are getting pretty damn close. Give me everything I want. And goodbye. So many pieces of land that have to be given back. It's really not the most efficient way of conquering, is it? Again, so we haven't had them like a billion times already. Oh, it's always exciting to have another round of Koreans. After all, I do love Korea. <laughs> they may band together in a huge coalition against me soon. So maybe I should focus in on maybe Bengal. Bengal is the next most obvious enemy of mine. Having Ava and who else on their side? No, oh, this guy. Nothing too scary. Stop the Koreans from ever happening again. There we go. Like song separatists. Why oh, do I forget? Yeah, I forgot. I almost forgot to destroy his castle. Which turned out to be a good thing in this war. But 
General castles are just not good enough. Amazing 16% trade power to potentially up our money. Draw a human can get quite the mother load of money from essentially all of China. Attack 14. We are on 16. 16 going on 17. Her, her, her. down there. I don't trust only 20,000 of our men to take up a Bengal and Nava. I mean they probably could but if anything goes wrong then they would be screwed and getting squished and that'd just be awful. That just not make this war any longer than it has to be. Joining. Don't quite know who. But I don't think that I have to care. <laughs> so maybe this. No one? There's nobody. over here. Great. Some to come already. I guess we shall see you in the next episode where we will 
like some more Bengalese, but of course this first couple of battles are not actually that great. Uh, slightly in my favor, though. In my favor. Getting rid of the smaller side guys this time around. Trying to get some more money out of them. You know, squeeze them so our horde can actually survive. Anyways, hope you guys have enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.